Is it really over? That's what we're asking today. Is our connection really over? Will they come back? Do I mean at this time that I've had enough? Do they mean at this time that they've had enough? Is it over? If you claim the reading, let me know. Put a like on it. Let me know in the comments. Private readings are available. My private readings are 20 minutes long. And yeah. You can ask any amount of questions regarding one situation. Welcome to Hope to Have a Daily. My name is Angie. So is it really over? What do you need to know? We've got the death card. Transformation. Change. We've got the devil. Oh dear. And then we've got the wheel of fortune. The thing is that both of you are kind of in this state of but we know each other, but we're connected to each other, but we have this really lovely bond that is sometimes really lovely and amazing and other times it's traumatic and painful. We have a trauma connection, they know everything about me, I know everything about them, I never judge them, they never judge me. I say mean things to them, they say mean things to me, they say lovely things to me, I say lovely things to them. And it feels like this connection is just exhausting. It's getting to the point where you can't keep hurting each other the way that you have. The death card has happened many times for this connection. Letting go of what has been and gone and moving towards the future, hoping for something better. It feels like the both of you have been around and around and around and around and around and around and around. And around. Every time it's the, it will be better this time, it will be different this time, when they come back this time, when they come back that time. When, when, we, when we figure it out, we're going to figure it out. And it's this never ending... A fresh start, an absolute mess. A fresh start, an absolute mess. A fresh start, an absolute mess. And it's it's the both of you. It's the chemistry that you have. Probably more them than you. So the Wheel of Fortune is the universe. An unexpected encounter. An unexpected turn of good luck. Unexpected closure coming in. When two people can't quite figure it out. The universe and your angel guides will try and put a brick wall in the middle of you both because you're both at the point where you can't leave each other alone. You have to keep pulling each other back in again. But the universe is like, well, what are you going to make me do to separate the both of you? It's almost like, you know, having two toddlers that need to be put in different rooms. So what cards shall we pull from? If you ever wonder what decks I'm using, I've got my full collection listed on my site with photos and names. But what you need to know, is it actually over this time? Is the universe going to step in this time and keep you both occupied so that you can't mess each other around again? Because um, feelings keep getting hurt and it's got to the point where so much has happened. So we've got the strength card reversed. Got the wheel of fortune again. Yeah, the universe is trying to bring closure in this time. And then we've got the father of cups. There's a lot of unconditional love here underneath all the trauma. But there takes, sometimes the father of cups is that silent, I care, I really love you, I need to let you go. The wheel of fortune's come out twice. That's why I like using different decks because we get clarification when the same cards keep coming out. The strength card, the both of you have lost control of this connection. Every single time you reconnect, it's going to keep going back to how it's been. It's not going to get any better. So it's now at such a point in the cycle of when they come back in again, you know what happens next. You know what happens next. When you both make each other feel amazing, you know what happens next. When you both say, right, we need to step back, you know what happens next. The universe wants something different for you. The universe wants you to have a successful, loving relationship. What else do you need to know? If you're still here, well done. 
because I've got a feeling quite a lot of people would have rejected this reading by now because it's not what you want to hear. But sometimes we have to hear the things that we don't want to hear because that's what tarot is about. It shows us things that hurt. The Ten of Pentacles reversed. The King of Cups reversed. And the Love is reversed. With the Ten of Pentacles, the moment I saw it, I thought, when you both first came into contact with each other, you were both at similar points in your life. And you were both kind of wanting the same thing. It feels like you don't want the same thing anymore. I love these cards. It feels like you don't want the same things anymore. So you're not even walking in the same direction anymore. That's why every time you come back together again, you pull apart again. Because you're both going in different directions. The King of Cups and the Father of Cups, one's the right way up and one's reversed. They say they love you, then they say they don't. And it feels like, with the King of Cups reversed, I look at them and I think, why are you saying what you're saying? Because I don't believe you. I don't believe you. And it feels like you're kind of looking at them and thinking, this is not what real love is. Real love isn't what we've been doing to each other. The lover's card reversed is the good parts. The, you know, that sizzling connection that you've both got. It's been a long time since you actually both made each other feel amazing. And it feels like it's been a really long time since you were both making each other feel amazing so so good all the goodness in this you're just holding on to the frustration and you're holding on to the I know this I know this person and this is who I want to be with but there's a fear here of if I let them go what will I have if you let them go you will have peace and quiet if you let them go you'll regain your confidence and if you let them go you'll be working towards your ten of pentacles again because right now neither of you are working towards your ten of pentacles the ten of pentacles for me is your legacy in this lifetime but also your tree of life you're meant to be growing and neither of you are growing so that's what I have for you is it over if it's not over this time, when they come back in again, tell yourself, I know what happens next. I know what happens next. We end up back here again. And how many more times do you want to do that? The universe is trying to move you forward. The universe wants good things for you. I'm going to wrap you in a massive bubble of protection so your angels take you on your way. And thank you so much for being here with me today.